Hey guys, welcome to the season 2 of Girl of Mukti podcast. We are your host, the Shang Hardwaj and the Shang Singh Olak. We are the inner voice that tells your story, our, our story. story. So Michelle, are you excited to kick start this new session of Mukti's podcast? Absolutely, the Shang. This season will be packed with some amazing and insightful sessions for all of you. To kick start with our new season, we have a lovely and ambitious executive board with us. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. So hey Dimpy, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I am also great. How is the feeling of being the president of Girl Up? <laughs> well, it is a great feeling to say the least. Uh, you know, this is my second tenure with Girl Up. Last year I was the podcast head. This year yes. I'm the president and the opportunities are just ample. Great. So, uh, I'm going to ask you a very few questions just to know what is going on in your mind after being the president. <laughs> so, what have you learned while being a part of such a dynamic community and such a strong community which we have in Girl Up Okte? Well, you have really nailed it with the two words, you know, strong and dynamic. Because that really describes what Galap Mukti is as a community, right? So, you know, being in Galap for the past two years, I have grown so much professionally and personally, right? I have realized how privilege works and, you know, how, priv- how I belong to that privileged sector and I don't realize it, right? How I can use my privilege to help those who are not privileged, you know, who are in need, right? And this community has definitely helped me grow perpetually with, you know, others and also help all of us, you know, help our environment grow too. And you know, it's all about being part of a bigger (laughs) cause, right? When you get up in the morning, you know that, hey, today I'm going to do something that is going to impact the society in a positive way. Yeah, it's going to change for better. Yes. So, uh, next question for you is, how would you ensure the democratic participation of all the members of the team to achieve the effective results? I think the mission and vision of Mukti can only be achieved when everybody is working together, right? And the most important part of that is not having an established hierarchy, right? Even though we have a president, vice president, secretaries, executive board and the members, I really feel like and I really strongly believe and I'm totally working towards having a very flat organizational structure, right? Anybody and everybody is approachable (coughs) and you know, I'm really working along with everybody in the executive board to create such a safe environment here that everybody is free to, you know, have a creative flow of thoughts, tell what they're feeling, you know, express themselves, whether it's about work or if they just want to whine about life. Great. So, as we know, Girl Up Mukti is all about team building and team trust. And when it comes to the t- talking about the team, coordination is like the utmost importance. So, when we talk about co- uh, coordination, so how do you divide it amongst your team members and how do you ensure the progress? Okay, so uh, when you're working in a team, right? I think I've said this so many times during interviews, but conflict is inevitable, right? You're going to have interdepartmental and intra-departmental conflicts, right? It's about, so everybody has like a job description, sticking to that, being accountable and being responsible. Following both is so important. And I think most important of all is, you know, usually when we talk, we say communication is extremely important. But I strongly believe that communication and comprehension both are so important, you know? As much important it is to be able to communicate what you feel, it is very important to be able to comprehend what the other person is saying and to be able to express yourself in a way that the other person is able to comprehend, you know, you as well. So it's comprehension, communication and, you know, sticking to being accountable and responsible for your work. So, like, what do you think during this tenure of you being the president of Girl of Mukti, what challenges do you think you will be facing in the future and how do you, you know, you're planning to tackle with them? I think not just me, but everybody here is going to at one point face the problem of lack of motivation, right? You get so caught up in your personal life and in your other social (coughs) commitments and professional commitments. We're all college students, right? Between all we're school students or working professionals between the age of 13 to 26. And we're all like, so engrossed in our lives trying to build ourselves and sometimes Mukti will take a backtrack in your life 
and I think that is so important. It's so important to make sure that you don't put Mukti at a backtrack and do not forget that you know Mukti is for a bigger cause and it's not just about you but about other people. So lack of motivation I think is going to be a big issue that I think we have faced previously and we will be facing in the future as well. So if I ask you to describe your plans about Girl of Mukti in one sentence, how would you do it? I think <coughs> the best way I can put it in a few words in a sentence is to make an everlasting impact in lives, right? And that's what I've been trying to do from the past two years and I'm hopefully doing it. That's great. I mean, I, I was under you for in the podcast team and it was great having you as a podcast leader. Now it's great having you as a president. And I'm sure you're going to do great as a podcast head now. Yes, for sure. It was great talking with you, Dimpy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Dimpy. Hi Shana, hi Darshana, how are you? Hi, all good, how are you? I'm also doing great. So uh, Shana and Darshana, what were your ideologies which matched with uh, Mukti's ideologies and drew you towards this position of executive board? So, um, at least for me, I, I'm a very, I have very strong feminist values yes. and you know, I look at women empowerment as such a beautiful thing. So I think, you know, the campaigns that Mukti's held over the last tenure and the values of Girl Up in general really did draw me to Mukti in particular. And I mean, we have an amazing EP this year. So. Yes, absolutely. I think it's the same with me too. You know, uh, values like feminism and equality are ingrained in me. And personally for me, I was expo exposed to Girl Up Mukti from the outside. So okay. I was able to see the initiatives they took up, like especially the menstrual equity drive. That, exactly. That truly did inspire me to be a part of Mukti this year. Yes, uh, menstrual yeah. drive, it was one of the best events which we had last year. Definitely, definitely. I mean, yeah. the last time you did some amazing things. Exactly. So uh, my next question to you is, what exactly would be your approach and agenda for this year since we all know that public relation is one such vertical which we have and like it is really important for every board to have it and to have it like proper functionally so what would be your agenda for this year so uh, the way i look at it is you know every every vertical in mukti is doing its part to spread the message okay. i think what pr does in that is collates all of that and puts mm -hmm. it out as a cohesive image, right? As one single picture that yes. you see all together. So I think that's what public relation is to me. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with Darshan. I think that public relations is that singular bridge yes. between your brand and the rest of the world. So we are essentially, I mean, not to toot our own horns, but <laughs> in charge of, you know, the way the world sees Mukti. Yes. And I think that's such an important place to be because we could be doing amazing things with no one really knowing, no one, and no real impact because I think over the years we've seen the importance of social media, Absolutely. of spreading a message. So I think that's where we stand mm -hmm. is in, you know, the little clockwork that is Mukti right now. And uh, my last question, what would be your uh, main target when it comes to public relation? So I, um, at least like I think over our multiple conversations and meetings, we've come to the conclusion that we're looking at making Mukti more inclusive, a more open space, a place where people can come and understand and learn and grow. Because I think there's, while there is a plethora of information on the internet, I don't think a lot of people have one singular source where they can come and say, hey, we can go for events here, yes. we can create a community here. That's what Mukti essentially is, a community. So and Darshan, for you? Is this about the same too, you know, it's about inciting people to mm -hmm. like actually look at us and, you know? Yes. Uh, engage with us, that's about it for me too. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah. All the very best. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Hi Kai, hi Nandu, how are you all? Hi, I'm fine. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, I'm happy. How are you? I'm also very well. So guys, first I want to ask you, what actually inspired you to be part of this year's executive board for Girl of Mukti? Uh, so first of all, uh, I wanted to join Girl of Mukti because I wanted to be a part for a social cause. And uh, Girl of Mukti was something that I always looked forward to be a part of. 
uh, because I've seen as to how much this particular community, I mean this particular organization has done towards the community and uh, I always look forward to adding value to the uh, foundation in some way or the other and I found the taste through this particular vertical that I'm currently up head of so I'm really glad to be a part of this particular foundation. Great. What about you guys? I think for me, I grew up in a very non-traditional patriarchal household. So it was instilled, the values that Girl of Mukti follows have been instilled in me because let's say the head of the house or so-called that we follow right now for me is my mom. Okay. So it teaches me to be an independent woman and the community that we've built here is full of women like that. I think that's the main reason why I wanted to be a part of this. I guess moms are the head of all the families. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. Okay, so uh, Nando, my question is for you. So, uh, how will you ensure to deliver engaging content to, for the you know progress of Gola Mukti's this year's vision? Uh, well, uh, it is. It's first to be noticed as to uh, what kind of topics we want to touch upon. All right, what topics do the community uh, really look forward that are sensitive and that they expect us to cover, right? And uh, we want to reach out to that particular issue, find out as to what deals with, and then know as to what you're dealing with, and then how you deal with it. And we want to bring it out to the community as to how you can tackle certain situations and so on. And uh, I think in that way, you are more organized, which leads you to being more efficient in terms of bringing out content uh, for this particular foundation. So that's how I, our I as a head, um, trying to bring out engaging content for the um, Gulamukti Foundation. Great. So now I, my next question is for you, Kai. Yeah. So how do you aim to further the mission of Gulamukti along with the support of your team? Okay. I think for my division, a lot of our base relies on researching about the nuances of society and how inequality stems right now. So how I would further the mission with my team is that we would put out content that would help people understand exactly why and how what is happening happens. And I think that would be the main point for us. Okay, that was great. It was lovely talking with you guys. You too. Thank, Thank you so you. much, guys. Hi, Sakshi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm also doing great. So, Sakshi, as per you, what were the values of Girl of Mukti which inspired you to join the executive board this year? Well, most importantly, it was the community that okay. I found and the way they work all together towards a common cause, yes. be it uh, menstruation, be it uh, women empowerment or mental health awareness. It's just the way they bring everyone together to spread awareness towards a cause. Truly. Uh, these topics are some of the most sensitive issues which are present in the society and Mukti is taking up, so that's really great. And uh, my next question to you is, in the technical and creative team, what would be your approaches for this year which will make a change and take it to the next level? Well, we are looking forward to work as a cohesive team, take okay. in as many as ideas possible, Great. keep in consideration what everyone has to say, mm -hmm. and to keep the posts simple and crisp so that any viewer who views the post feels connected to the cause and feels valid and their points and their thoughts are just taken into consideration and they feel important enough when they view a post or just a story or whatever it may be. So to keep it simple and nice and to work towards the cause. Great. Truly team building is a very important aspect. So best of luck to you. Thank and you so much. Thank you so much. So that's it for today's podcast. Hope you all enjoyed the show. But wait, stay tuned for our next episode which will be out soon. Till then, stay safe and keep calm. The podcasts are available on your favorite streaming apps 